so the two female guppies are very pale um, in appearance and that is neutral because in nature majority of species being birds fish or any other creature um, does involve in the male having much better look uh, much fancier um, features and uh, more colorful overall um, I I do need to get a male um, because I wish to breed them but the guppies are a fish where they are not only easy to look after but um, they are very hardy which is what you want um, the fish itself are very popular in the um, fish keeping hobby theme is because the selection of um, colors available today um, majority of all colors which you could think of are are, 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 are are actually printed on the fish I will try to zoom in so you could have a look at exactly which fish I'm talking about it's the two fish at the bottom that are constantly um, picking up um, pieces sand from um, from the bottom here there's one with a red tail and one with a yellow tail which actually just looks um, just looks like a creamish color as it uh, as to represent its skin but that's the um, that's the look that females have they are they do have the open um, cream cream color across the whole body um, as if it was a male it would have been um, filled with um, a certain color there's the yellow at the back there is a Odessa barb right in the corner with the black stripes I did have a few more um, and I lost them a while ago um, I've had them for approximately a few years um, I hope it's the age that um, caused the death um, it's similar to the black neons um, I had a approximately eight I'm only left with three and I've actually had them uh, the longest um, since I since I moved into um, a community choice um, the fish do last um, approximately four years with the lifespan being approximately five to six um, you do have to bear in mind um, by the time they are born they are transported um, across those it does take time majority of fish can actually spend m most of the time in stores um, as they are being moved from one to another which leaves to um, a customer bringing it to its final destination so fish can easily be um, six months to a year once you do get them um, again depending on the size um, will um, result in that I also have a few harlequin tetras 
um, which I think there's only a couple in there. Again, the harlequin was one of the fish which I got with the black neons in the time length of few weeks. So again, the the couple that are in there will be approximately um, three and a half years old, which is a really good age um, in a aquarium. And for the particular fish, look at the flying fox coming up to the top. Just again to show that even though they are bottom feeding fish, they will like to invade into other sectors of the aquarium. So yeah, the harlequin is just that one there which I have zoomed into. It has the triangular blue um, shape in the middle to the back of the body. Really hardy. Um, again, will have flakes and other mixed food. The cherry barbs, I didn't um, get into in depth. There's two cherry pubs um, near the top of that plant. Overall, barbs are a um, amber in aquariums, but um, cherry barbs are kind of classed in the green as they aren't really um, tail nippers or territorial. Um, so, it is safe in a mixed community aquarium other barbs I will not uh, recommend as because they can be very aggressive which will lead to damaging the entire um, species or the entire um, class of fish in the aquarium needing just the barbs in the aquarium they will nip the tails until they can't swim anymore which will result for them dying the cherry barbs a a good fish they do mix in in the community sector um, they don't get as big all fish in here are approximately two to three inches which is what you get um, in the choice of these fish the Odessa barb is another barb um, which I mentioned earlier with the black stripes again um, I only have uh, the one in there and I um, did start with three and from my experience the smaller the number in green to amber class fish will result um, to a much safer behavior in the aquarium as if they were in bulks of large numbers they feel stronger and greater um, having the encouragement from each other um, resulting to taking over control taking control of the aquarium and beating up anything that does come in front of it 
I believe I have covered all fish in the aquarium and the plants. Um, the gravel is of course sand which is suitable to aquarium so be very careful if you wish to choose sand as your gravel choice. Um, once you do get them in the packet it is best to rinse it once more um, just to get the dust off and anything else which could be trapped in it and a few slates and pebbles just across the left to the middle section of the aquarium just to give a little bit of a background um, with the plants buried between them so hopefully I have described each fish um, and I've shared my opinions which you could take to consideration um, I just wanted to make this video to show you what's available um, how the fish are in the aquarium if you wish to look into it or buy one any in this tank um, because you could easily um, have a choice in mind but once you have um, seen it in the aquarium you may not like the behavior and movement um, they represent they could just be very sluggish or just lay at the bottom or some fish for instance um, another which you could research the butterfly fish in freshwater um, aquariums are a fish uh, which is um, amber to red territorial aggressive um, why is it isn't in the red sector is because it's not big enough if it was big enough uh, it would uh, truly be in top of the um, red mark and um, they are approximately four to six seven inches um, uh, a middle um, length of the age um, you could get them younger but they just literally just stay at the top with its fins expand ex expanded touching the surface and that's all what they do they, they just they just they're like a dead leaf at the top I mean if uh, if you was to see it in the picture you'll be really attracted um, by its unusual um, fins but once you do see in person it's just like really my tank's gonna look empty once it's in there that's the um, experience you get with fish so this is what I wanted to approve um, my fish um, the way they are in the natural habitat which is of course not in the wild in the aquarium and um, the features each fish has to offer so I hope you enjoyed this video um, it has been my first run making this video maybe I should have wrote each uh, topic down and covered them um, at a um, I don't know you know what I mean um, in an order um, but I just thought I'd go with it um, I just had a free day and I thought let me share my hobby thank you very much